Hi everyone, this is Meryl. I am the Librarian that works with the art class. Uh, you have an essay coming up where you will be researching an artist. Um, you can pull one from a list that's put together by Monica or some other topic related to drawing. Uh, it's not a long essay, but you do need to use at least four sources and you'll need to use several images. This video will give you a brief introduction on how to use some of the library search tools as well as um, I will show you some links that I put together that take you to high quality websites where you'll find good information. So if you are in the resource guide, um, the first place you wanna go is to this link, find resources for your research project. And this will take us to the different, um, in this side, it will be the library search tools. This first box here is our OneSearch tool, which searches for eBooks, articles, and films in OneSearch. And then we have some individual databases that you can also search in. Um, I'm going to do an overall search in the collection to see what we have. Um, if you have picked a specific artist, the easiest way to search is just to search on the artist's name. And um, I am going to use uh, Kathy Kowlitz, Kowlitz as my example. She is a German artist who worked primarily in drawing, painting, and sculpture. And um, I'm just going to type in her name do a search and it takes us to a list of results which will show us um, all the different types of sources that we have in the library collection so you can see from the top here this is a, a book this is a print book which we can't access this summer because the library is closed but it, if we when we are open you would be able to to check out this book from the library um, you can also see there is a video about her and then we have several different kinds of articles. If you get too many, you could certainly use these filters along the side uh, to limit the type of sources you wanna look at. So for example, if you just wanted to look at videos, you could click on this or just on articles. Uh, if you wanted to just look at, see what's online as opposed to print in the library, you can click on these different filters. Um, once you click on it, I'll just click on this one um, real quick. This is a newspaper article. It will go to this link and then you'll see here these are all of the different library databases, which is where you ultimately will want to be to access the full and complete article. And I'll just click on this one real quick. This is in ProQuest. And to get to the article, there it is. Uh, you will need to log in with your campus, campus information since this is a library database, but here's the article right here. And then we have these various tools where you can email it to yourself, can download as a PDF. Um, I believe also if you click on this option right here, you could um, put it into your Google Drive if you use Google, um, the, the Google tools in your work. Um, so that's really the easiest way to use the library search tools. And again, you can look for books, you can check, look for films, and you could look for different kinds of articles. For many of you, depending upon the artist that you select, um, the it, you might do better just searching on the web. Um, so I did put together a list of websites that I think would be particularly useful to you and that we know are credible and will give you reliable information. Um, the list, first list here are, are different museum websites and these are a fantastic resource because you'll get both uh, textual information about your, author, your artist, but you also will get images. Um, I am going to look at the MoMA, which is the Museum of Modern, Modern Art, and I've linked you directly to the page which talks about artists. And so you can see here, I can see if, if she is here. Quick search on her name. Oops, spell it right. And you can see, here's my link to her. And you can see this is fantastic. It's a, it's a biography, not, it's not too long, but probably gives me the amount of information that I need to know. Um, you can also see, oops, go back up. If you click here, you'll see her work. Um, so you can look at some of the images and you also takes it to an article about German, specifically about German expressionism, since that's the, um, that's the area of art that she is most associated with. And here you can see a biography again. So this, this really is a, a great resource. Um, I've also listed some other uh, websites down here, which are great places to get information and images. I would highly recommend looking at 
Google Arts and Culture. Um, this is also just a fantastic resource uh, with some incredible images, some great collections, and you could um, just do a simple search here, or you could break it down in here by different types of collections, themes, or artists. So um, that's your guide, and that should help you. If you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. Here's my um, information. Email is always the best, um, but I might also be dropping in on your class at some point. So um, keep in touch if you need help, and good luck with your research.